And the question is, why would you want to do something like that? When you index a table, one would imagine, or well, the natural way of thinking about an index is it's either there or it isn't. You index the entire table or it doesn't exist at all. Perhaps a subtle middle ground would be an invisible index, but even an invisible index, even though it can't be seen by the optimizer, still is present across the entire set of data in the table. However, there is a concept of what we call partial indexing, and most commonly we use partial indexing on partitioned tables. It lets us nominate at a partition by partition level which segments will have indexes and which won't. Interestingly enough, even though it's partial indexing, this is a property of the partitioned table. So we can see here when I create my sales table, I can nominate whether by default I want indexing on or off. And then you can see at a partition by partition level, we nominate whether each partition will have an index created on it or not. That particular set of metadata in the data dictionary then becomes relevant when we create local indexes. For example, here I've created a local index. I've said indexing is partial and it obeys the metadata from the table definition to indicate which partitions will get an index. I've indicated here indexes as being a tree structure or a triangle structure over the top of the square table segments. So 2017 does not have an index segment but 2018, 19, and 20 do. And the question is, why would you want to do something like that? There's a few reasons why you might want to use a partial indexing strategy. Number one is the less segments you index, the smaller that index is. That means a smaller database, faster backups, etc. The second reason is by limiting the amount of segments that the indexes are on, you're giving the optimizer the best chance at understanding what your query requirements are. It might well be the case that on your most recent data, for example, your active systems, your active partitions, then you want to have indexes there because people are going to do queries which look for a small number of rows. It might be, show me just my customer orders, show me just orders for the last few hours, show me information just for today. Typically on active data, we often look at the most recent data and therefore we're looking at small subsets. However, for that same orders or sales or transactions table, if I'm looking at data from a few years ago, it's pretty rare that I'd be looking up just a small set of data. My application might be looking at things like, show me the total year's worth of forecasts, show me an average over the last six months, those kind of wide ranging queries for which indexes would not be appropriate. Therefore, it's both a waste of space to have that index on that particular older partition, but also not having it there guards against the optimizer making an incorrect costing and using the index when it should not. Therefore, having indexes on just the most recent partitions and not on the older partitions might be a very good use case for your business requirements. But that's not a hard and fast rule. You might find use in the exact opposite. Bear with me. I might choose to put indexes on my older partitions but not have an index on the most recent partition. That seems strange based on the logic I just presented. However, one of the very cool things you can have on the Oracle database is the in-memory option, a facility to take data and compress it into a columnar format dynamically in memory to get blazingly fast analytic style queries. So what I might choose to do is take my most recent partition, which might have the most dynamic and most ad hoc requirements coming in throughout the day, and move that partition only into the in-memory store. Why only that partition? Because memory is not free and there's a limited amount of RAM on your system. Maybe only the most recent year's partition fits into the in-memory column store. For that reason, it's unlikely I would need indexes on that data because all the query requirements can be served out of the in-memory store. However, because I can't fit all of that table into the in-memory column store, I may choose to put indexes on the older partitions to help with query requirements there. They won't fit in the in-memory column store, so I'll have index partitions there just to help with the queries. These are not the only two use cases. I'm trying to stress here that whatever your business requirements are, you can now choose indexing requirements based on partial indexes to serve those requirements in the best way. You're getting the best bang from your buck for indexing requirements.